Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Today the Church celebrates All Saints Day, and we give God thanks for all the saints, for their life, their work, their ministry. We thank God for the wonderful example they were to us who follow, and we pray that we too would follow the example. We thank God that every saint was a sinner, a sinner loved and redeemed by God's grace. And so as we celebrate this wonderful feast day, we pray for all those parishes and institutions who bears the name All Saints as they continue to be a witness for our Lord and Savior. The heavens declare the glory of God. Let us worship and praise him. Lord, open our lips that we may glorify and praise your name. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come bless the Lord. Come bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord. You who by night stand in the house of our God, lift up your hands towards the holy place, and bless the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion, the Lord who made heaven and earth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Dear friends, as we think of this past day, And we think of the saints that have gone before. We come before God this evening with repentant hearts to confess our sins so that we too may walk in the light of God. So let us confess our sins together. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, in penitence we confess that we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought, word, and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, Christ our Lord, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and keep us in eternal life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our appointed psalm is Psalm 148. Psalm 148 on page 790. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from heaven. Oh, praise him in the heights. Praise him, all his angels. Oh, praise him, all his host. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all you stars of light. Praise him, your highest heaven and your waters that are above the heavens. Let him praise the name of the Lord. For he commanded, and they were made. He established them for ever and ever. He made an ordinance which shall not pass away. O oh, praise the Lord from the earth. Praise him, you sea monsters and all deeps. Fire and hail, mist and snow. 
and storm wind fulfilling his command. Mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars, beasts of the wild and all cattle, creeping things and winged birds, kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all rulers of the world, young men and maidens, old men and children together, let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His glory is above earth and heaven, and he has lifted high the horn of his people. Therefore he is the praise of all his servants, of the children of Israel, a people that is near him. Praise the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our lesson is written in Revelation chapter 21, and I read verse 1 to 4, and then 22 to chapter 22 and verse 5. Revelation chapter 21, reading from verse 1. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming, do coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned to her husband, and I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, See, the home of God is coming among mortals. He will dwell with them, and they will be his peoples, and God himself will be with them. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. Mourning and crying and pain will be no more, for the first things have passed away. Verse 22, I saw no temple in the city, for its temple is the Lord, the God Almighty, and the Lamb. And the city has no need of sun or moon to shine on it, for the glory of God is its light, and the Lamb is the Lamb. The nations will walk by its light, and the kings of the earth will bring their glory into it. Its gates will never be shut by day, and there will be no night there. People will bring into it the glory and the honor of the nations, but nothing unclean will enter it, nor anyone who practices abomination or falsehood, but only those who are written in the Lamb's book of life. Then the angel showed me the river of water of life, bright as crystal, flowing from the throne of God of the Lamb through the middle of the street of the city. On either side of the river is the tree of life, which, with its twelve, twelve kinds of fruit, producing each fruit each month, and the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. Nothing accursed will be found there anymore. But the throne of God and the Lamb will be in it, and his servants will worship him. They will see his face, and his name will be on their foreheads. And there will be no more night. They need no light or lamp or sun, for the Lord will be their light, and they will reign forever and ever. Here ends the lesson. All Saints Day. And from the Saints and Seasons, it is said that when Paul writes to the young church, he commonly addresses their members as saints, even if the things which he had to say in his letters about certain of them do not suggest that they were necessarily saintly. 
Nonetheless, there is a true sense in which all Christians may be called saints, a holy people set apart by virtue of their baptism and dedication to God. But from very early times, certain Christians have been singled out and honored and remembered as having shown some cons obedience to God in their life and in their death. Their fellow, fellow Christians have delighted to honor such people with the special title of saint and believe that of all who die in the Lord, these certainly have a special place in the presence of God. Some of them have their own day of remembrance, but there are countless others of whom there is no room in the church's calendar. On All Saints Day, we pay honor to those heroes of the church, known and unknown. We do not worship them as people, but we worship God. Rather, we honor them as notable members of our Christian family, our Christian ancestors with whom we are still united through our living fellowship with Christ. In Christ, their prayers are blended with ours before the throne of God. Their witness gives us fresh determination to become what we are, holy people, not in name, but in heart and deed. They remind us amid the pressing demands of this busy world that here we have no permanent home, but are seekers after the city which is to come. But above all on this day, the remembrance of the same victories over evil recalls to our minds the resurrection victory of Christ himself, which is manifested in the lives and details of his saints. Every saint was a sinner saved by God's grace. And may we strive to be like them. Amen. Lord, now, let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and to the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. We say the baptismal creed together. I believe and trust in God the Father who made the world. I believe and trust in his only Son, Jesus Christ, who redeemed humankind. I believe and trust in his Holy Spirit who gives life to the people of God. I believe and trust in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And so, dear Lord, as we remember all these saints that have gone before, we thank you for their lives, their witness, and their testimony, and their obedience to follow you. We thank you, dear Lord, for the lives and the fact 
that they too were sinners saved by your grace, saved by your redeeming love. And so, dear Lord, as we remember them, may we too become like them. Lord God, we ask you to give us your blessing to your church holiness, to this world peace, to this nation justice, and to all people knowledge of your law. Keep safe our families, protect the weak, heal the sick, comfort the dying, and bring us all to a joyful resurrection. We ask these things through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Gracious God, you have bound your saints together in fellowship of your church. You have prepared them joys beyond our understanding. Help us to follow them in our daily lives and to bring us with them to everlasting glory through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Eternal God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works proceed, give your servants that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments, and that free from the fear of our enemies, we may pass our time in rest and quietness through the merits of Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. Lighten our darkness, Lord, and by your great mercy defend us in all perils and dangers of the night. For the love of your only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And so may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all forever. Amen. I pray and trust that you will have a blessed evening. Amen.